Hey, what is up everybody? Blades for here, and today I have for you guys another video of Persona 5X. Outside this video, guys, it's going to be about pretty much beating Cert here and getting the highest score that you can on the Nightmare difficulty. I'm going to be going over exactly how this boss does work, what teams you want to use, one of their specific Personas and weapons, as well as just the ways that you really want to break this down into fighting this guy himself. So if you guys are ready for this, of course, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so jumping straight into the guild boss here, we are looking at the man Cert. Cert himself does pack a bit of a punch, but by knowing exactly what you want to bring and the gimmicks that are at hand, it should make this boss fight a bit of a breeze. So firstly, how does the man work? How does this whole boss fight at least work out? This boss fight itself Works pretty straightforward just like the rest of the other bosses, but does come with its own gimmicks. Now this gimmick actually works out a little bit in your favor, giving you a nice buff by bringing a shielder and having shields on your teammates. By giving yourself a shield here, you're actually able to give yourself a 20% damage buff. And with this damage buff on your at least teammates, it shouldn't be too hard on taking them out. Now one thing that you should know about this boss is it actually spawns two other mobs so with some strategy, you can actually get a lot of points here and it shouldn't be too difficult. So once again, we're gonna be taking a look at Nightmare and the things that it can actually bring. As you guys can see on my screen here, we do have that he is going to be weak to ice while the other two are going to be weak to bless. So you're gonna to want to bring a little bit of a team that looks similar to this one. The ideal team that you guys would like to run is gonna have Yuki, Yusuke, Wonder, and Mont. Instead of using Mont, you could go ahead and use Soy, and that's only if you need that extra sustain, but I don't really advise it, especially if you want the most points out of the deal. Try to use Mont, because you're gonna need that extra damage as well. Now, when it comes down to the Navigator at hand that you wanna use, instead of Okyan this time, we're gonna immediately work on Puppet. So if you don't have her built, be sure to have her built for this fight. She is utterly necessary for this point value. Now, with this team, you got a lot of cover. You got the AOE, you have the single target DPSs, and your two defenders. So of course, our man Wonder is gonna be giving us shield with the three personas that he has on hand, which we'll go ahead and expand on that in a second. And then of course, we do have Yuki giving us some shields that's gonna be more of the single target thing, but also put, come into play with the blessed damage that she does have in hand. So with this being notified, of course, what are going to be the things you want to run on Wonder? Persona-wise, you're going to want to have a few Personas here, which luckily two of them are fairly easy to grind up and get. One of them is going to be called Norn. Norn is a absolute amazing support Persona, in which this Persona is going to be your bread and butter when it comes down to giving you those nice old shields. But alongside of this, if they do hit said shield, you're actually able to almost proc a win-related attack on the enemy, giving them a win debuff. Now, if you guys don't know exactly what the wind debuffs do, wind debuff itself can actually give them um, the winded status effect here and give you a defensive power reduced or at least give them a re defensive power reduced by 12%. So put this in easier terms, the enemy will be actually debuffed by 12%, which is absolutely necessary for this whole fight and can rack you up a lot of points as well. Now coming down to the other two, you're gonna look at Mithras and then you're also going to look at Surge. Mithras themselves, the reason that you're going to be bringing them is because they're absolutely amazing of giving us a defense bonus here, which is absolutely needed. And then Cert themselves is mainly here for the second phase of things where you're going to want to have a debuff here that will help you out in dealing more damage. Having that debuff will take down their defense and utterly be a godsend no matter what you're doing. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how this does work. But before we jump into that, I almost raced ahead a little bit. What weapon do you want to use on Wonder? Some of you already might know this is a little bit of a no-brainer type of deal here, but you want to go ahead and use the support weapon on Wonder. Main reason for this is because, of course, the healing bonus that it gives you, as well as the shield bonus it gives you. This team is going to rely a lot on defense as well as the shield side of things. So having more shields and defense, the better this will work out. Now, unfortunately for me, <laughs> I don't have the last duping here, 
which does kind of make mine a little bit weaker than most people's. But of course, if you have this fully duped out here, you're able to get yourself a ton more defense here and a lot more things as well. And I got to stop doing that. But you're able to get yourself a lot of things that will absolutely help you out in this entire fight. But enough of my talking here. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it and I'll break down those next few phases. Now that we've loaded into the phase, we're gonna try and split this up into phase one and phase two. Phase one being that the boss is alive and still kicking. Phase two being that he is down and has spawned the other minions besides these two guys. The first thing you guys wanna do is take a good look at the top left of my screen and which is taking a look at the speed bar. This is how you wanna have your characters assorted. If they're not assorted this way, you're gonna have to do some speed tuning and which is a little bit of a hassle, but I promise you this is the perfect way to set it up to actually get ready to deal that big boy damage. So without further ado, we're gonna immediately use the skill two, in which will give us a nice defense enhancement as well as a shield to set up Yusuke to deal his skill three, setting up his counter and pretty much getting you to that point of big boy damage that we need to look forward to. Now, once that's all set up, use wind screen to give everyone a shield, taking advantage over that gimmick that I told you guys about, which is the 20% damage increase having a shield on and then go ahead and use Mont's skill too. With all of this in play, you're able to deal some decent damage off bat and actually we didn't get our first crit, which definitely sucked. It was actually a little bit lower than normal, but no matter, it should still be decent. Now, the other part is with windscreen on, which I forgot to actually tell you guys, with that on, it has a chance of giving a winded status to the boss or any of these mobs here in which once done, this can give them a 12% decrease. Now, none of the mobs ended up proccing it, unfortunately, but I think we should still be good. And when it does come down to the turn two, start off with puppets, at least special action, giving the first skill. And you want to do this mainly because you'll have the four SP, the shield, and the shield buff. Now with this in play, use Yuki's skill one, knocking out both the left and right mob, and then baton pass over to Mont, getting some extra damage off on cert, but also building up an ice shard so you're able to deal some more damage with her skill two and the future process. With this all in play, you see skill two for Yusuke, dealing some decent damage to not only just the guys in the left and right, but to cert themselves. Hopefully you can get some really good damage on cert, especially if you're doing some of the lower bits of damage on them. It will make up for a lot of this. Now, judging by the heart is right now, we are lacking a little bit in the damage department. So we are gonna be a little bit iffy on this run. But with this in mind, we're gonna go ahead and set up the way we need to set up. So let's watch over the Mithras, use the defense buff. This gives us another defense enhancement as well as helping out our actual damage in general. And then use Mont's highlight. This is going to be directly on cert to try and deal some decent damage. Hopefully you can hit 14K through 17K in which we got 15K, so not too bad. And then with this in mind, I would normally say attack the dudes on the left and right, to be honest. But seeing that we've already dealt so little damage, we're gonna go ahead and just attack cert themselves because we did a little bit too little damage to them at the beginning. So now we have to make sure these guys do not die. So Yusuke, please do not crit them or counterattack them because if you do that, this is gonna ruin the run. You don't wanna kill these dudes um, because if you kill them, you'll actually end up taking out all of his health bar and that will actually put you in a very bad bind. So only on certain circumstances where they're very, very low in health, only attack Cert. But if they're not very, very low in health, you attack one of the ones that has the highest HP. But now we are on turn two or at least turn three this one, you wanna set it up just like we did turn one and use skill two on Yusuke, pretty much reapplying all the buffs that you do have. With this in mind, we should get attacked by Cert, which is perfectly fine as long as he does not crit. And no crit on us, lovely. And we did not actually counterattack him, which is good because if we counterattacked him, that would have been bad for us. So set up Puppet's move once again, using her skill one, giving us that nice old shield, the defense buff and some SP back. And then you want to go ahead and set up Yusuke's skill three, having his counter attack already and giving us pretty much the best that we can get in terms of just damage once we do get attacked, which hopefully we won't get that point of being attacked until phase 
three so um or at least phase two so that's going to be our main deal now what we're going to do is i could go ahead and use the defense thing here but you normally want to set up your windscreen just because this is going to be what you need to deal now since we do have everything set up we need our mod to crit twice if they can crit twice um with the leftover hp because we are a little bit on the higher end which is 15k Ooh, yeah we're on the higher end so this is going to be kind of close to seeing if we can do this but hopefully we can get a crit if we can this would be perfect and we can go into phase two no problem okay one crit and two crit okay boom perfect so we went into phase two perfectly if you don't deal enough damage and you don't kill him with mont right here this is where things get a little bit iffy so First things first, when you like this, everyone is officially statted, so you don't need to do anything with this. Um, since we do have our counter up with Fox, if we use Absolute Judgment, this actually allows us to immediately proc off Fox's counter. And so you want to use this first with Yugi. So first round, use this. Fox should do his counter, giving us that nice old damage, immediately dealing a ton of damage here. Now with this in play, go ahead and use the skill two, damaging everybody a lot here. Actually, we didn't do that much damage there, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Once you have your skill two in play, for your main character or for Wonder, you want to start to set up at least the big boy damage. So with this in play, go ahead and use third, use the skill one. This will get you in a very good bind, or at least a very good uh, setup and then use Yusuke's ultimate. This should proc a decent bit of damage off and will absolutely set you up in the scoreboard. Hopefully we get crits on everybody. No crits, unfortunate. We actually hit very, very low. That should have been way, way higher than that. But with that and with that all good, we're immediately using the skill one, being set up with Ice Bloom, dealing some more damage. And since we still technically have our taunt up, we're still dealing a ton of damage. Now you wanna crit these guys each time. If you can't crit them, it's perfectly fine as well. But to hit that 10 million mark for at least damage, it would be really good to just try your hardest to not only crit, but also try your hardest to get to, I wanna say it was like 200K up here or something like that, or not 200K, um, two mil points for accumulated or at least 1.9 uh, mil points for accumulated. And then you will hit that actual mark for the um for the actual two mil so with this in mind use dawn's bubble this is the only time you're going to use the skill three getting up everything you need such as like defense and things like that and then for this one you can just do whatever you want so we're going to go ahead and attack get some more damage off of course and then i would set up the counter again i think i'm trying to think of how i want to do this the counter would set us up in a very good light. So yeah, go ahead and set up your counter. I think it was the skill two I used beforehand, which it was actual mess up, but you wanna use the counter. And then with this, we're going to actually use the defense buff because we still already have our actual counter attack already up. So there's no need for us to use the man Norn or the woman Norn and use Ice Bloom once again, hitting them with the final attack that you're actually able to trigger. With this in mind, the rest of your damage is all going to come from these counters. So every last one of your counters is gonna be important to try to hit a crit on, in which we're at 1.9, not bad already. Let's see if we get another counter. Crit, there's one right there. Let's see if we get one more. Uh, no crit, but still perfectly fine. No, no crit right here. So it was decent. We got 2.1 and this was actually at 8.9 mil. And this was actually low because we ended up actually missing out on the winded debuff. We didn't deal as much damage from our crits. So this was really, really low when it did come down to the final play. But that is pretty much how you want to run this. It's gonna be the updated guide. Um, my last one was like five mil. This one should get you from eight mil to 10 mil pretty easily, but Hopefully you guys found this video a little bit more interactive or a little bit more informational. I was trying hard to make this a little bit better for you all, but till the next one, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.